<laughs> Start. Savages. Savages are unintelligent. Savages do not have a government. Savages cannot survive in large societies. Savages will not survive on an island like this with limited resources. Your newfound lust for meat, Jack, and your hunters, this, with short resources like this, how do you expect to continue living on an island if, you're not, if your goal isn't to be rescued? Yeah, okay, maybe you can hunt, you can create shelters, you'll live here forever, and then what? You'll just die. You'll die like we could die right now. What we need for long-term survival as we await the ship that my father will come in is hope and teamwork. We need to support each other. Jack, do you want savagery? Is that what you want? And you, his hunters, are you just going to follow him like that? Are you really going to cross that line? Are you going to let go of civilization, all that we've been holding on to for our whole lives? Everyone needs to start making changes. First off, it's not only the hunters, you little ones. We can't have you playing around the sand, washing up, uh, washing up, playing in the water, throwing sand at each other while you're sucking our resources dry. You're probably eating as much as we are, and you're not even doing anything. And then, oh, you're scared of that beastie. You want reassurance? Well, if you want reassurance, why don't you help us build those huts? If you want safety, you can build those huts with us. But no, you'd rather go and throw rocks at each other. If we get everyone working, and if we get things organized, we'll have maps. Jack, I know you want to hunt. You'll have enough hunters because we'll have the shelters done. We'll have everything in order, and we'll keep the fire going and await the ship that will come. But our group is changing. We can't have this change. Jack, you punched Piggy in the face. Now, his vision is now ruined and his lens is broken. So, you have therefore hindered one of the members that could have helped us. And not only that, try that again, we won't even have a fire. We won't be rescued. Maybe that's what you want. But, seriously, we can't let go of human development. Civilization has been growing, and humans have paved the path to where we are now, since, since the beginning of time. We can be saved, even if there's war. We, all we need is a strong leader. And this conch, civilization, will eventually come back to us. And we will remember why we did all of this when we're finally home. And you'll thank me. So I suggest you stop drying your throats with billions of chants. And you started thinking towards long-term survival and how we're going to get rescued.